Welcome to a new video at your gaming and esports hot topics, hot tweets, the spiciest memes. I'm Marissa Roberto. And I'm Brody Moore. Producer Tyler has two minutes on the board and topics right down here at the bottom of your screen. One of us may get a line or just need to shut the other up for 30 seconds. That's why we have this trusty mute button. Mm -hmm. It's mine. Yeah, no. Brody, no. Middle even playing field. Of course, we love it when you call us out in chat, so don't be shy. We can take it. Let's start with our first story here. We're going to dive right in with some good news for the Overwatch League. How exciting the first homestand weekend was held in Dallas this past weekend. And if the viewership numbers are anything to go by, it was a big success. The two-day weekend featured the highest viewership in Stage 2 so far, with over 2.4 million hours watched. Viewership was at its highest when the Texas-based teams were playing. And despite a blackout on day one, which was unfortunate, the rest of the weekend went off with without a hedge. So Brody, yeah. um, is this a good time and a good sign for Overwatch? Do you think, um, or do you think this is just like a fluke? Like everyone's just excited right now and then they'll, they'll drop off. Well, I don't know if it's a fluke. Um, a fluke means it happened by freak nature. It's more of just, this is an initial buff. People like to see that things are finally going to hometowns. Um, it's an exciting time, it's something yeah. brand new. But just like everything, I mean, you saw when Overwatch League was first uh, out, Numberships, or numberships, viewership numbers Ugh. were huge, right? But then yeah. they've dipped. They've they've dropped down. I'm, isn't it like down 45 percent or something this season? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just overall numbers. So it's gonna go up. People want to see what the new st stages look like, mm -hmm. new stadiums, the home mm -hmm. uh, arenas. But yeah. once they get used to it. It'll dip down again. It's just a phase. It's just a phase. Uh, I don't completely disagree with you. You're right about that because people get excited about anything new, right? It's also yeah. like you got to be where it is, like the place to be. It's just like, you know, when the Blue Jays play normally every other year except for this year, actually, it's just like the place to be in Toronto. You got to oh. be there. Everybody piles into the Rogers Center and like watches the Blue Jays, even though they don't care about baseball at all. So this could be like esports is exciting. It's coming to our hometown. Let's yeah. get in there. Let's now, see what the action is. what I will say is is that is a good way to do it for again sure. I've I've always commended the overwatch league for doing a lot of cool things with esports mm. that a lot of other people are afraid of because it costs a lot of friggin money to do yeah. this stuff but uh, I think it's really cool that we're now getting teams playing in their hometowns mm -hmm. it gives people like you just said that's in the area something to cheer for yeah. one of the hardest things getting into anything new is to find out who to cheer for yeah well now you know okay I'm gonna cheer for Dallas because yeah. I live in, in near uh, Dallas you know or Easy. Toronto because I'm in that area right yeah it's so crazy how it's taken so for. long it's taken so long to get this formula down and yeah I mean people that love CSGO like to salt on Overwatch League for getting all the attention but this was apparently how to do it. You gotta put a city attached to a team mm -hmm. and then people can all pile on. So I'm excited to see where this goes for sure. It'll be very interesting to see when it comes to Toronto. Good idea. Yeah. It's just a face. Anyways, the debate is currently brewing about international servers in video games. In EVE Online, a new movement has caused players on the Chinese server to begin an invasion of the international server that the rest of the world plays on. Most players are taking to this rather well, but in other games like PUBG, international servers have been controversial. With issues such as increased lag, language barriers, and sometimes racism, some players want different regions to have their own servers. Yeah. Marissa, mm -hmm. give me your hot take, because I got one. Oh, uh, no, I'm very excited. I love your setup there, Brody. I don't know, because like, how do, I, how do we have a hot take about this and not sound racist? Mm -hmm. uh, well, well, I no, don't I'm know. Just, you don't have to be no, 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 I'm totally joking. But uh, no, because you want to, because it's like all of our countries need to have their own servers. Mm -hmm. Like, let's keep on our own servers. I like the idea of countries having their own servers. Isolation. Isolation, yeah. I like the idea of countries having their own servers because if that's the case, and then when it comes to worldwide play, when it comes to international play, we can actually really see for the first time mm -hmm. who is best because we've been playing in our own isolated servers. I think isolated servers are important for many reasons, leg being for sure yeah, one of them. Straight Absolutely. Up. And then also, at the end, when you compete with everybody, we'll see whose ping was best. I think, you feel? Yeah, I think it's. I think it depends on the game. It yeah. really does. Eve Online has a lot. Obviously, I'm not an Eve expert, so people can call me out if if uh, if I'm wrong. But mm -hmm. it's it, you don't have as precise movements you have to do. There's a lot more macro going on rather than you know like in an FPS where you need to click on a tiny pixel of a head yeah. right to to get your kill. So on that, it's less important. Um, there's there's also the the issue that a lot of I'm breaking stuff. A lot of hacks. <laughs> come from uh, China, they actually now made it a federal fence, right, to, yeah. to make hacks. Mm -hmm. So like that could be an issue if you see those start uh, crossing to other servers. Um, but uh, I just don't get why you don't just give people the choice. Like, yeah. like you look at Rocket League, 
you can pick your servers. You can pick between you know, US East, US West, Europe, Asia mainland, uh, uh, and all over the world, Middle East, whatever servers you want. You can check them all, you can check none. You get to choose whether you're uh, playing on international servers or in your local servers. Why, why take away the choice? Rocket League is the best. They're the smartest. They know what they're doing. Everybody copy Rocket League. See, she said it. Uh, She's absolutely right. But uh, yeah, no, at the, uh, at the at end, end of the day. day at, I didn't say yeah, you did it. Just at the end of the day, give people choice. Let the players choose. Don't force them into it, especially in a game like PUBG. I agree. Absolutely in PUBG, no. that is not a good idea. I want forced segregation. Forced segregation. As we both know, <laughs> Fortnite loves to take ideas from other games and media, then turn them into its own thing. Yep. And nothing has been quite as bold as the game's respawn vans. These vans let players resurrect dead allies much in the same way as the respawn beacons in Apex Legends. Some players have argued that the vans were merely inspired by Apex, while others say that Epic stole the idea wholesale from its competitor, Brody. Yeah. Where do you stand on this? I'm sure you've got a hug. Wow, you sound really yeah. gung-ho about yeah, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah uh, okay, well, where I stand yeah. is that, yes, there are some ideas being stolen, uh, mm -hmm. because that's what Fortnite does best. They okay. don't come up with their own creative ideas. But... But... But, of course, it is great to be iterative on things. If there's a good idea... That's a big in, word for Brody, uh, BT does. Jesus! <laughs> what did I do to you? That was a big word for you. That, that was a big word for you. Okay, thanks. Um, yeah, you're welcome. Now i got to go study a dictionary and thesaurus. <laughs> but, uh, no, really, uh, it's... I keep not wanting to say at the end of the day. <laughs> at the end of the day, it, <laughs> Fortnite is always stealing ideas. Like, they're, they're always taking ideas, and I do think they're straight up theft. They don't do anything really unique with them. Like, uh -huh. they're just... They're actually just taking ideas from other games. Now, I love, again, when it's iterative uh, <laughs> on a thing. You look at, you look at uh, Tomb Raider, that inspired, of course, like the Uncharted series. Yeah. They learned a lot from that. And then after that, Tomb Raider learned back from Uncharted. And, yeah. and a lot of the newer Tomb Raiders, the reboots, ba are based off what Uncharted did yeah. for the gaming industry. So That's learning. fine because we get great games out of it, but they're different enough. Mm. Whereas this is, it's literally just a respawn spot. Like th there's nothing different. Okay, like do something unique with well, it. If you're making money, if you're making money off of stealing, an, uh, stealing an idea from someone else, mm -hmm. okay, so Battle Royale, yes. Because uh, that wasn't their game initially, as we all know. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're making money off of that and you blew up with that, and you're stealing things from other people, and you're making money off of that, why wouldn't you just continue to steal things? Like your your point, especially yesterday, you always drive on the point that like people are inherently like some people are just inherently evil. They do evil things, they steal things, they cheat, and nobody really does anything about it, and they continue to win. So why not keep playing the game and stop hating on the player? Out of out of context. I flip that shit. You see that? Out of out of con with no context, it seems fine. But now that we have the context uh. of what Epic has been doing recently with their launcher, with their employee crunch, yeah. I really don't see that this is all done in goodwill. Mm. They, they're just taking ideas because it, someone else did the work for them, and they're going to implement it. Yeah, yeah. no, that, that's But that's the fair. end of two minutes, so let's move on. Speaking totally of fair. stealing ideas, Epic has once again been sued by a musician. Look at this, for a Fortnite uh, dance move. But while other lawsuits have focused on copyright claims over dance moves, mm. saxof uh, saxophonist Leo Pellegrino is taking a different route. He's suing <laughs> Epic for using his likeness without his permission in the phone it in emo. Mm. The suit argues that the dance moves are integral to Pellegrino's hard-earned fame, mm. and using them in-game constitutes misappropriation of his <laughs> identity. Hmm. 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 Uh, well, uh, he's not wrong. Is it, like, he's not wrong. He does have a specific look to him. He's got a vibe to him. He's got, and really, it all comes to life in that emote. Is this, is this the it's way people up, right? should be suing Fortnite? Then it has to be this way because Rather you can't sue. Yeah, you can't yeah. sue for dance moves. That's been proven. Okay. Yeah. Um, Silver Spoons guy, fresh. Prince of Bel Air. Uh huh. Now, Alfr what's Alfonso Ribeiro? Yeah, we, he tried Carlton, and yeah. failed. Carlton, I know, but that's not his actual. Well, that's what he was doing—is that character? But either yeah. either way, it's like. I, I don't know, I'm kind of iffy on this, because yes, I don't want someone going out there taking my likeni likeliness and making money off it. But well, good luck, because I can't even. So, well, uh, but it's like, it's like for, for, for Leo, it's like, do you, yeah. do you really think that that generation <laughs> knows who the frig you are? Okay, 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 if that's gonna be the case, if they're gonna rip from someone iconic in his scene, okay, yeah. then they need to name it that, they need to let him know we're going to idolize you, we're gonna put you in our game, and that way you're giving them the cred know. they deserve. If, Kids are gonna know who they are, maybe he, they, won't listen in, they won't listen no, to his no, music, no. but. If he had a, a product in that mm. industry, then yes. Now you have a right to say you're misappropriating my character, but if no one knows who your character is, how, 
are they misappropriating it? No one knows that they're, that they're using that. Pretty, that's Cause, like, Because no, you're not that, in that industry. You're you, not losing any money by being in that industry. Okay, okay, so say somebody watches a show and they think it's great and they think everything you say is amazing, but like not, not a lot of people know, but as yet we're actually quite new. So mm -hmm. they're going to take everything you said and all of your ideas and everything that you embody and they're going to turn it around, they're going to use their audience, they're going to use it on his Twitch stream or whatever it is where he has lots of viewers and he's going to take everything that you think and use it as his own. Is he not stealing from you? Even if he is, did? I'm not going to go sue him for it. When I'm going to go out there, I'm going to create an evidence.zip folder, and I'm going to show all the things that were stolen. I'm going to do it my way. I'm not going to go and the no route of like, oh, I'm out of money. I'm going to sue them. Huh? No one's going to listen to you because nobody knows who you are. Uh, no, but they'll look at the evidence. I'll get someone else to do it. And then they'll That's find exactly out that this person is. doing it. No, but I'm not suing yeah. them for it. Okay? Heck. Okay, okay, Either way, no one's going to steal my identity, so we're going to move on. Let's see what the streamers are up to in clip. But our first clip comes from IRL streamer Adam, who went uh, through a drive through to pick up snack and a little something extra. <laughs> Down here? Yeah. Nice. Hello. Hello, is this You have beautiful you. eyes, by the way. I'm sorry. You want to go, go for a coffee sometime? <laughs> I'm married. Sorry. You're married? Sorry, what is that? Nothing wrong with cheating. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> She's married, dude. She's married, dude. What the hell? Wait, I forgot my. He was. Uh, he had that line. He was like, oh, "Okay, that was awkward. I gotta get out." Forgets his. Forgets his drink. No. What? No. You don't think p picking up people in the drive thru is good? what he was doing, though. He was doing that for content. He was doing that to create some kind of jokes and lulls with his chat stream. He doesn't care about that woman at all. He was, that was actually quite insulting to that How woman. How was that he, insulting? No, that was straight up insulting. He was not really hitting on her. But I hate she that doesn't stuff know so that. Much. So no. for her, at the, for but her we know she's going to look at... We're all watching this, Brody. We know that. This is a joke that's insulting to that woman. That's not no, okay. No, no, because she doesn't know. It's yes, only insulting so what? because you... What if somebody says... It's only insulting because she... Or we know. We know the context that he's doing it for the lulls. She has no friggin' idea that it's for the lulls. She just sees a dude come up, order some food, and he's like, whoa, you have really pretty eyes. To her, that's like, whoa, some random dude just said that. That is a, that is a nice compliment. And then, of course, she, she got out by saying, um, this is, uh, I, I'm married, I can't be in this. Uh, but it's still a compliment. It's still a compliment. You only think it's bad because, because well, you have the context. No, yeah, because I have the context. Exactly. So if this woman has ever showed this, this would be insulting to her. She's never going to see it. Does so she look fair, like someone so on fair Twitch? To make some, it's fair to make fun of somebody behind their back. You're not making fun of them. That's full on Our making day. fun of her behind her back. I want to do this again. You can't. Too late. You used it already, friend. Let's move on. Obviously, I am right as per usual. Our next wow. clip comes from Ha Chubby, who is probably the most adorable streamer right now. And recently, we found out where she gets her cuteness from. Mommy, come on. Mommy. Hello. <laughs> Mommy, hi. Tubi Mom, I am Tubi Mom. Uh, my name is Korean streamer. Oh, okay, Korean streamer. Yes. Hi. 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 Korean streamer, Mommy. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy. Thank you. Bye bye. Goodbye. Good night. <laughs> Thank you, Korean Mommy. Korean mommy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so, so kawaii. cute. It's so kawaii. So kawaii. But, but I'm actually a, a bit more confused at that tape. Was she literally she just cornered the <laughs> into the wall? Like it literally looked like there was a wall behind her on both sides. And she, yeah, like, yeah. they just, and she, she just, trapped. The, the actual reality here is that she just keeps her mom trapped in the corner there, like a hostage. She, she, lives she in can't the floor get and out. Open it, just opens it, come be in my stream for yeah, a second. Yeah, I'm actually confused yeah. at that table. I need to take a so look strange, sometime. Yeah. Okay, uh, it truly is the best time of day where we scroll the Twitters to bring you all the things the pros bless us with on their timeline. We have been talking about this guy all week, and now one of the players, Jack Studdard, tweeted a response to all of the response they've been getting recently with the Fortnite clip. He says, regarding the comments I made after winning CSL with a link he posts there with a full statement, hopefully this will clear up that I give huge creds and thanks to CSL and UGA Esports for the opportunity. They took fantastic care of us. I only have a problem with the way Epic is running their game or ruining their game. Mm -hmm. So like straight up, he actually has a full thread. If you guys want to go to that tweet, he has a full thread. He tweets a lot of really 
interesting, insightful yeah. things. A smart kid. He also says that he he meant no shade. Like he didn't want to be disrespectful to anybody at all. He just like he yeah. feels like he had a valid point and he wanted to express it. He didn't mean for it to like blow up in this way where like everybody's lulling at Fortnite. Well, that's this, not what he wanted. This is what you have to be careful of. If yeah. you become <laughs> an influencer and someone that. Uh, influences people in these young minds, yeah. then you have to be very careful about how the thing you're saying can be taken out of context and misconstrued sure. if you don't say it with definitive black and white facts. Because if, if you leave yeah. anything up to, um, to someone's just to shift it even a little bit, they're going to misconstrue what you've said. Well, for so sure, it's, because it's you good saw that, that went, Keemstar took that clip and yeah. like, oh, 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 Fortnite. So yeah. like all of those, all of his stands are Yeah, just... no, even, so even, even when this guy was like just being what he, he thought was, was pretty honest. clear, yeah. he still had to come out and reiterate what mm -hmm. he was saying. So just be very careful about what you're saying. Understand how people can, can misconstrue something. No, but stuff. you know what? It works in his favor, even though they oh, yeah, now he's getting that exposure. Road. He gets exposure. Yeah. He's like full on just saying, hey, if you want to hire me, I'm here. This, these are my majors. I'm, he's a Spanish major as well. Like he's got different tools in his belt. I feel like he's fully employable. He seems yeah. like a very smart dude. I, I just think he's wrong though, because like, no. it's not, Fortnite's not being ruined. You can't ruin something that was trash to begin with. Oh, Anyways, this next God. one goes out to all you streamers out there who want to do you and definitely should do you from Apex Pro Dizzy. <laughs> he says, when I'm streaming all the Apex is dead comments and shit is so annoying, like, who the F cares? It's a video game to entertain us. Mm. And people be coming in my chat to tell me they ain't gonna watch me play a diff game. Like, just keep it to yourself. To all the real ones, I F with you. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's like it's it's super true. Like, yeah. if a guy wants to play a different game, let him play a different game. He is. Oh, that is that is a rant. Oh, you got, Honestly, you this could be a ten, not, up there. You this is a, this is a could be a ten minute rant. Here we it's, go. I'll you be. can't go into someone's stream and tell them the content that you want to see. You mm. go to their stream to get the content that they give you. Mm. If you want different content, go to someone else. There's no reason to complain to the person that is streaming and giving you entertainment mm. that they're doing it wrong. Mm -hmm. Then just don't watch them. No one is forcing you to. You have the choice to pay if you want to. Stop complaining to the streamer that they're doing it wrong. Straight yeah. up, go somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't like, don't watch. You feel? Mm -hmm. But tell your friends about us. Yes. <laughs> Our last profound thought is a little something to mess with you, like these horrifying drawings Brody kept showing in crowd control. I don't know if you remember those, but they freaked me out. So good. This gross drawing was tweeted by COO Able Gamers, Steve Spawn. Um, it gave me nightmares, straight up. So, a baby <laughs> the mom, like a flesh covered mech suit. Also, what is her arm? Look at her arm! It's, her face is what does it for me. <laughs> and she looks like, she looks like she came from another planet. Kim is seriously, I cannot stop staring at this like two in the morning, a full I'm, on gave me nightmares. Like, can you imagine a baby? Like a baby growing that way inside with the legs, like inside <laughs> her legs. Oh God. You don't need bones. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I'm actually pretty sure that's like a whole book. It of is. Just, yeah, of just it like is. weird ass drawings. It is. It's uh, like just baby just sitting up. I love that kind of content. That so is gross. that is what I live for. Anyways, let's move uh, on to something else I live for. We get this time to get to some crowd control. Mm. Bring out your memes. Bring out your memes. We won't circle jerk too much, but we got to do it at least once. The Madman sums up all of our thoughts on the new Sonic movie trailer. Every, everyone with the gun. Just pull the trigger, James! Do it! Get it over with! Can you imagine someone, someone walks in just like, what's the Sonic thing? I haven't heard much about it. Let's just go see a random movie. And they walk in and have to see this abomination. I guess we they don't, don't have the know. context of we don't what... Know. Still, even without the context of what Sonic looks like, yeah. it's like... He looks still weird. It's like, what is this thing? Yeah, it is very strange. It's almost like they had never played a Sonic game before, or like studied the character in any way. Yeah. Like, what? Why does he have electricity? I, it's just, I don't understand. Why does he have teeth? I, I think like I th Camille. Camille actually said it best. She's oh, like, she said? she she said, I think someone just liked the fact that he was blue, but yeah. nothing else. Yeah, yeah. So let's just make a blue thing <laughs> that goes fast. Yeah, blue went fast. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Our next post is wholesomely frightening when a pleasant match turns into a nightmare on Elm Street in Battlefield, for the Empire has some confusion. Street. Somebody let me spot on you. What's funny? You. Oh my god! <laughs> what is wrong with my hands? That looks so oh, bad. Oh no! Behind us! He's coming from up the hill, from the water. So bad. That's my dead body. Oh, we all died. Oh, it's still doing it. Salad Fingers has joined the match. <laughs> yeah. Yo! <laughs> the, the, it, it was like the confusion of like, what is happening to my body? Guys, <laughs> someone friends, help me! I don't know what's happening! <laughs> 
<laughs> that was good acting. Yeah, that was that was. That's pretty good for you. Oh, thank you for me. Thank yeah. you. All right, we're, we're gonna move on though because that was too <laughs> creepy. We're gonna end the day with some advice. Mm -hmm. Zephyr four eight one three reminds you to always watch your back. True. <laughs> yeah. The, the reverse beheading. Wait. Yeah, I, I was watching someone, someone else play this game, uh -huh. and I'm like, he's, he was just having so much trouble killing people. I'm like, dude, I seen a clip. You yeah. just get on a horse, hmm. and you just come up from behind people you ride. and murder them. You I ride. really wish we had like some, some live graphic effects right now. We just have oh. someone ride up behind you what? and behead you. Brody? Yeah. That's super rude. It's not but, rude, like, we could it probably would look really cool. Yeah, yeah, it would look cool. But I have to be in front of green screen. It's a whole thing. Like, you okay. know, we, I feel Next like our time. production value is high enough. Uh, yeah, it is I don't think good. we need to but add a, a beheading. So <laughs> <laughs> I think. I guess good. that's fair. I, it sounded cool, but like now it just sounds gruesome. Yeah, and mean. That's all for our new today. Remember that you can always hit us up on our socials. Just say hi or send us stuff to react to. Seven type an exclamation mark socials right now in chat, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.